Hello YouTube. Being that it's Veterans Day, I just want to make a quick video about my grandpa. My grandpa was a Korean War veteran. And I just want to, since it's Veterans Day, tell you about him. My grandpa was actually born in the hills of Ohio. He wasn't, uh, he was pretty poor when he grew up. And when he got of age, he decided to join the military. Well, in the military, um, he there was some pretty good stories. One is that uh, one time he got drunk and he decided to get a tattoo, as most do in the military. At least back then, from what I've heard, they did. When the needle touched his skin, he sobered up. His tattoo ended up being a blue line about that long. That's it. Um, now, when he was in the military also, he actually learned Japanese, because um, I'm not so sure about what he did in the military, where he was stationed, I just know he needed to learn Japanese, he didn't talk much about in the military. But in the military, he um, caught rheumatic fever, and ended up having to get an open heart surgery eventually. <clears throat> after being sent to the states and he actually fought the military because they just you know they wanted him out of the military after the heart condition they were just going to give him an honorable discharge and he wanted to stay in the military he was going to make the military his career so what he did was he took the military to court and he ended up that they told him listen we don't want you to be in the military anymore because of your heart condition but what we'll do is we will let you do a really early retirement nowadays they probably wouldn't do that but that's what he did he actually got a military pension and he went and he worked in the mill and then he put his pen his military pension away every month until he finally retired from his job as a steel worker <laughs> While uh, at the mill, because he had to work in a dangerous area, as from what I've been told, and he was a very short man. He was about maybe 5'3". Uh, he actually, on the way home from work once, got attacked by some guys that pulled him out of his car and tried to beat him. So guys that, that he worked with actually helped him. They actually, you know, helped fend these guys off, got them away. And at that day after, they suggested my grandpa to carry um, a chain with a lock on it. <laughs> that didn't work. He, it was a very dangerous place. And then from there on, they just always made sure to help him, you know, leave the area. They would just follow him. He actually, one time when he was in court for something, which I'm not going to go over the specifics of what it was, but a judge actually tried to use his heart condition against him. And he looked straight at that judge and said to him, I got this heart condition defending my country, and you're going to try to use that against me? My grandpa didn't put up with stuff like that, to say the least. My grandpa also always had an American flag in his yard, all the time. For the longest time, everything with him had to be made in America. Everything. Until finally, I mean, even his cars, everything. He, he would shop at Walmart a lot of times because at the time, Walmart, everything was made in America. And there wasn't a single thing in his house that was not made in America. Uh, he finally stopped doing that when he bought a car that he found out that his American-made car uh, had an engine, I believe it was, or transmission that was made in Mexico. So, um, another thing was that with his being able to speak Japanese, when I first started martial arts, I learned how to count to ten in Japanese. My grandpa then goes uh, 
I went home being 10 years old and I said, Grandpa, I can count, I learned how to count to 10 in Japanese, and then I did it. He goes, I can count in Japanese too. And of course, not knowing. You know, I go, really? And then he counted from where I was to 20. And then he told me, he looks at me, he said that he could actually count up to 100. And he was going to one day teach me. Unfortunately, it never happened because he got sick. He got cancer. Which he's lived much longer after that, but still got cancer, so he wasn't able to do it. Another thing he loved was trains. He loved... And by trains, I mean like the electric cha trains that you build. He loved them. When he was younger, he couldn't afford toys. So finally, one day my grandma bought him a small train set and he eventually built it and it got bigger and bigger and he had this huge train set awesome train set and he loved nothing more than to sit there with his grandchildren watching this train going around but oh you did not touch those trains he even had an old a uh, sign there with a noose and an old cowboy looking guy on it that says don't touch them trains um, I'm going to close this up pretty soon, but another funny thing, because my grandpa, he didn't talk a whole lot, but when he did talk, usually it was funny. He, um, he would say, because what he did was he invested his money as he was working. So eventually he got himself an electric fireplace. And he, as a joke said, looked and said, you know, I used to just be a poor hillbilly, now I'm a poor hillbilly with an electric fireplace. <laughs> My grandpa, he was funny like that, he would also, he loved taking his grandchildren out for ice cream, he was a really awesome guy. Really awesome. <sighs> Sorry, it's, you know, just thinking. My grandpa used to also, because where we would camp, everyone had golf carts. So he would a lot of times take his grandchildren, including, you know, um, I was his grandson, so he would take all of us out on golf cart rides. Funny thing is, one time I had a lot of schoolwork to do. And... He came over and he goes, you know, we need to, um, to go out for ice cream. And my grandpa, he, um, he had diabetes, so he needed to watch his blood sugar. And my grandma worried about him, said, you know, you shouldn't have any right now. And he goes and he says, hey, Adam, want to go out for ice cream? And then she, of course, I said, yes, I want ice cream. Goes to, uh... <laughs> So my grandma goes, Adam wants ice cream, we need ice cream. <laughs> and when my, um, when my mom said, he has, he has schoolwork though, he looked at me and goes, Adam, do you promise to do your schoolwork right after the ice cream? And I said, yes. He says, okay, time for ice cream. <laughs> Alright, so, I was just doing this since it was Veterans Day in remembrance of those who have served, so. In fact, you know what, we should do like a challenge of sorts to everyone make a video on a veteran you knew. It's a little bit late for that now, but uh, maybe next year I'll try doing that. So, <sighs> thanks for watching the video, guys. Just remembering my grandpa. Um, please like the video, subscribe, and tell down in the comments section uh, things you remember about someone that was a veteran in remembrance of veterans. Let's do that, okay? Alright, thanks for watching. See you guys later.